Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the water filter head assembly on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need access to the back of the refrigerator. We'll also need to disconnect the inlet water supply and disconnect the power. So pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it and turn off the water supply. Once we've done that, we'll open up the refresh food door and we'll remove all of the items on the upper shelf. Now with the water supply turned off, our next step will be to lower the cover to the water filter. So just to press that tab, lower that down, and then we'll remove the old water filter. We're simply going to twist counterclockwise about a quarter of a turn and remove the filter. Now our next step will be to remove that cover. It pivots on two pins at the back, so we simply need to spread it far enough apart that we can unhinge it from those pins. You just grasp one side, pull out on it, and that will remove it from the pin. And flex it enough that you can pull it off the one on the opposite side. And then just set that aside. Now there are two pins on the back of that water head. One side fits into a split clip, and the other side fits into a round opening. So we're simply going to spread those clips apart enough that we can pry down on that side. You also want to support that housing at the top where it attaches to the ceiling. You need a fair bit of force to pop that down out of there. And then just pull it to the left to detach it. Now next we'll go to the back of the refrigerator. Now that we have access to the back of the refrigerator, We've disconnected the inlet water supply to the refrigerator. Next, we need to detach that coupling from that bracket. So to do so, we're going to remove two screws on either side and pull that bracket out. And if your model has a retaining strap across that water line, you'll want to remove that as well. Now next, we'll lift that bracket out of the back of the refrigerator. And we'll just pivot that around enough until we can see these two clips that are on the back side of this plastic housing. So we're going to depress those clips and pull that housing towards us. You can then slide that housing off the end of that hose and just take note how that sits in there. And we'll also need to disconnect the return line. Simply press down on that collet and pull the tubing out. Next, we're going to pull that tubing out of this channel. Now we'll go up to the top and remove the filler block. The styrofoam block needs to be pulled out of the back of the refrigerator. And we'll want to do so without damaging it. So just move it gently and while pulling on that pair of water lines. We'll slide that completely out and just set that aside. You can now feed both of those water lines through to the front and remove it from inside. Now with the tubing completely unfurled, we're next going to feed that from the inside out through this opening.
Now with the water lines fed through from the inside, we'll go ahead and reconnect those to the water valve. So make sure that we don't get them twisted. We'll keep the one with the brass fitting to the right as we face it from the back. We'll reconnect that return line into the valve. Simply line it up with that collar. And press it firmly down into place. Just pull back on it to ensure that it's properly engaged. We can remove the protective cap from the inlet line, and then we're going to fit that into the plastic housing. We're going to come up from the bottom. We position it into that housing. Now what we want to do is make sure that we have a proper bend in that tubing to line it up with that housing. Verify that it's seated properly in that plastic housing. And we'll slide it over that bracket. And then press it on firmly so that the locking tabs engage at the back. We'll reposition that panel and secure it with the screws. We'll reattach that clamp. Now we'll feed that water line into that channel. The same for the input line. Try to leave about the same amount of slack at the top side. We're back in the fresh food section. We're going to take that water head. We'll make sure that we insert that round pin into the opening on that housing. And then reach in and snap the opposite side in so that it pivots freely. If we dislodge this housing in the seal, make sure that we snap that back into place. We can then remove that bypass plug. Simply grasp the housing, twist the plug out, and retain that. Now our next step will be to put the filter cover back on. So we're going to engage this hole or cap over the end of that pin that went through on the right hand side. And just flex it enough. Then we can get the opposite side in. And that should pivot easily. Again, we'll make sure that we have that housing snapped into the ceiling properly. We can then put our water filter back in. Twist it clockwise until it locks in place. We'll snap that whole housing back up to the ceiling. And now we'll go to the back of the refrigerator and replace that styrofoam block. So we'll carefully take that styrofoam block, just lift up on those water lines, take any strain off them. And 
press that block firmly into place, make sure it seals up that opening. Now we're ready to turn on our water supply and make sure we have no leaks, and then we can push the fridge back into place. Now close the refrigerator up. We're ready to reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.